Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about group by method and multi indexing in data frame. In our previous classes, we have discussed so many methods in our previous classes, but this group by and multi indexing is very, very important to understand. That's why we are making a separate video on this concepts it's very very used extensively in our python in our machine learning or whatever data science we are following so this you, sh you should understand it better please follow our play uh, playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete python for data science the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class in our last class we discussed about a data set sample superstore data set we are using the data set here so if you don't watch the what's the data set is please watch that video and come back here so in the data set we are having this is the data set we are reading the data set using a function called read underscore excel so how to previously we use a dot csv files here we are using a read underscore excel but that's why we are using this function read underscore excel because it is an excel file and in that we are using the sheet name is equal to orders in the excel file we are having three sheets so the first sheet is orders we are using that sheet so the data is uh, read into this uh, data here into this uh, and converted into a data frame and the data frame is assigned to a reference variable df is taking that reference so this is our data set we are displaying df dot head of means it is going to display head of a method which we discussed previously it is by default it is going to display the top five lines so this is our data set in this data set here in this we already what know what this data set is in our previous classes so let me tell you one thing region in our previous class when we discussed about the region we are this entire united states is divided into four parts central south east and west so we use this concept in order to understand we use this column in order to understand the group by function group by method coming to the group by method so temp is equal to pd dot data frame of so we whatever this this is returning this is converted into data frame that is the reason why we use it this pd dot data frame of inside that we are using df df is our data frame on the data frame we are calling the method group by method group by based on region so how many regions are available in the region column four regions are available what's the central east west and south so it is going to group all the records into four different groups that is what group by function will do all the central comes under one group all the uh, east comes under one group all the west comes under one group all the south comes under other group that is how it is going to do so it is going to group by based on the region so what what's what's the output it is going to return so you have to understand that why we are showing it is uh, see the let's check a group by function this is our group by function documentation so this group by documentation it is going to return the gr data frame group by object so this is the object it is going to return so why we are showing this uh, explaining all these classes is not uh, possible but you have to get used to this type of exploration of our documentation so that is that will help you in improving your coding skills in data science uh, explaining everything is not uh, possible so that's why you take a look at this so data frame group by object uh, what are the methods available in this data frame group by take a look at this in this data frame group by we are having one of the method is all the same meaning which we discussed in our previous classes all method on the data frame the same meaning here applicable to data frame group by object also so these are the list of uh, this is how we have to explore the documentations whenever required so so remembering all these classes and methods is not possible whenever you are doing the whenever it's required according to your requirement you have to search the documentation which classes are possible which methods are required which uh, all those things we have to re uh, search in the documentation and we have to apply those methods that is how we have to do that so you have to understand that how to search you have to get used to that that's why we are showing this uh, how to search the documentation 
okay coming to the doc, uh, coming to this uh, so df dot group by of region is going to return a data frame group by object on that we on that object we are going to select the sales column okay so whenever you select a column it is going to return a series object on that object we are applying the aggregate of sum so agg function we are applying the agg function we discussed in our previous class agg function we can give the inbuilt methods or whatever user defined methods also so the data is sent to that method whatever it's written that is taken as the output that's how we use the agg method so we are we are calculating the sum sum means summation of the sales based on the region so the output will be like this so whatever the output it's uh, came here in this uh, with this uh, code a uh, line of code it is converted into data frame uh, pd dot data frame that's why we have mentioned pd dot data frame of uh, so whenever we display the temp uh, this is the output it is showing uh, so what it is going to sh show you so central region is taken as the index east south west is taken as index so central is having 501239 total summation of all the sales is summation that is what we have done agg of sum it is going to sum east 670 this is what the sale total sale summation of all the sales this is how we use the group by function once this new data frame has been obtained we can use the data frame method temp.loc of central it will it is going to give this sales temp.loc of east east means it will get the value we can use the slicing all those things which we discussed in our previous classes coming to the next one multiple multi indexing this is very very important to understand multi indexing is so we use the group by function in our previous example we use it group by function only on single column if you use the group by function on multiple columns what happens that is the point you have to understand we are using that uh, group by function on the region and category in our data set you know what's this data set is uh, region is south east west and central category comes under furniture office supplies and uh, uh one more uh, category is the technology that is what we discussed in our previous class we we had to look at the data set uh, how many categories we are having three types of categories we are applying group by on these two categories uh, means two columns we are applying uh, so what happens how it is going to output uh, and we are taking the sales and aggregating the sum so what's the output you got here here it is creating multi index multi index uh, on the central in the central we are having furniture office supplies and technology so these two is considered as the index on that we have displayed the sales means central furniture summation of all the sales based on furniture office supplies summation of all the office supplies next one this is how it is divided this is multi indexing we use the concept of group by and multi indexing very much not only here in any data related concept we need this okay coming to now how to access the data based on multi indexing that is also we have to understand so this is we are displaying uh, see print temp1 dot index temp1 now temp1 is a data frame object see we converted this into data frame temp1 is a data frame object now we can access this data frame object uh, so whenever you display the index means it is showing the index values so, so this is the list of indexes we have central furniture central office supply central technology east furniture east office supply east technology like that south west now how to access the data on the multiple indexes that is the point we have to understand we are using the method called access method print temp1.access we are accessing only central when you mention only central in the central in the category we are having furniture office supplies and technology so this is the output which we got so only the central category central region is showing on our data set what we have returned here temp1 on the temp1 it is showing that next coming to that temp1.access of furniture means we are not taking the first one first one is region 
we are not uh, we are not uh, we are not taking the region so based on the furniture second index so assume that not not for understanding purpose we are showing this assume that this is a first index this is secondary index second index assume for understanding purpose we are showing that so assume that this is second index we are mentioning only on the second index that's why we have shown here level is equal to category second index uh, value is category that's why we are showing category so take only furniture values from the region take the central furniture east furniture south furniture west furniture this is how it will it is going to access the data from the multi index values so no need of using this access method we can use directly loc which we are used to in our previous classes loc of uh, central comma comma column means take all the columns you can mention your own columns whatever the columns needed to display that we can mention we will show the examples so we are taking the central this is the output furniture office supplies and technology if you want to take both central and furniture you can mention loc of in the tuple you mentioned that central comma furniture it is going to take only central furniture sales in the central region we are having only one category named as furniture total three categories are there we are going to take only furniture that's why it is going to take the sales of that central furniture value we mention column name also here like this we instead of this we can mention this a uh, column name sales uh, it is going to display only sales uh, loc of next one is temp one dot loc of c we are we are showing here central furniture east office supplies both uh, that's why we have written in a list uh, tuple of uh, list of tuples uh, so central furniture the output it is showing central furniture and east office supplies uh, and we can apply the concept of slicing also central furniture to east office supplies uh, so we'll take a look at this data set uh, now you will have to understand uh, central furniture central office supply central technology east of furniture east office supplies up to here slice that is the meaning of uh, what we have done below so central furniture to east office supplies we are using we are using the concept of slicing that's why we have mentioned the colon here now coming to that one more way we can access the data temp1.loc of slice of central comma east so central to east so we are slicing only on single region single column on the region column so slice of central comma east if you want to slice on both the columns then how to do it print temp1.loc of slice of central comma east slice of furniture comma office supplies so it is going to take a central in this it is going to take furniture office supplies furniture office supplies that is how it is going to work now coming to the next ones if you don't want to take the first category means first column what's our column region column so slice of none slice of a furniture it is going to take only furniture this is how we can access the data on multiple index there are so many ways we are use, we are explaining only few of them that's enough for our understanding hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you